Twickenham, the headquarters of the English Rugby Football Union, or the Rugby Football Union as they insist. Full again for the second day running. Here's the Haka. Chip and go from La Maison. A bit offside. The All Blacks up too quickly. Has been known to freeze a little bit on the big occasion. I can remember in the European Cup semi finals, him hooking a vital kick past the near post. He needs to be smack on today. And he is. That's a beautiful kick. Solid straight down the middle. A little fumble, but it wasn't, and a penalty again against the French. They were up too quickly, and uh, a simple kick this time, just to the left of the posts. And they're determined to give a good account of themselves, but Andrew Mertens now, with just over nine minutes gone, has a great chance to level things up. No mistake that time, and it's New Zealand three, France three. And in goes the big drive. Really attacked that ball. Repelled the first time by the French. Repelled again. And it was a French hand went in there to try and scrape it back. Penalty again. Mertens again. Over it goes and New Zealand take the lead in the 18th minute. 6-3. Lovely break from Dominici. He's got real pace. Lovely running from Dominici! Caught just a metre short. And the French will want this one quickly. They've got men over. Over goes La Maison, a glorious score. Great rugby from the French. Well, we know France can play when they want to. And it looks to me as though they want to in this one. Dominici, lovely break here. Got gas to spare. Weaving Maisie run, great tackle in the end, just drags him down. Now here's where they want quick ball. It's got to come out quickly. There's a massive overlap on the right. Ball appears, and it's a walk in. Big Jonah on his own. But what a great try, Dominici has always impressed me. Only a little man, but my goodness, he can go. Dominici got plenty of pace, John, like you say. And a French hand just trying to stop them again. In fact, it was uh, not down, it was Case Muse. The man who, uh, in his first cap, lasted just 14 minutes before he was sent off against Australia. Right back in 1990. Mertens, again a beautiful strike. Over it goes, one point only in it. France 10, New Zealand 9. Danger here, Cullen flips on to Lomu, Lomu steps outside, cuts inside, he's still not down, he's over! And Lomu breaks the deadlock for the All Blacks, regains the lead for them, and France looked frightened. Oh, I don't believe that, there must have been six Frenchmen trying to drag him down. Look at this, he just veers infield. One, two, three, four, five Frenchmen trying to haul him down. Benazi brushed off in the corner, and Lomu crashes over for another sensational try. Incredible. His 14th try in Rugby World Cup. Bruze gets a very firm grip on him this time. He says, you're going nowhere, penalty again, and a French hand in the ruck. Mertens from the five metre line. That looks good. Oh, it is. Drills it straight through the middle. New Zealand increased their lead 17 10. Jim Fleming says that's enough for the first half. The game still anybody's. Everything to play for. New Zealand 17, France 10.
This time, though, they go for the option back to Wilson. Back inside to Lomu. Pass one, pass two. Here he goes again. Bundling them off, and the big man is over for his second try. Well, I just couldn't believe that. Lamaison just kicked it straight down Wilson's throat. Who's outside him? But Jonah Lomu, if you want to kick to two people in the world, you don't kick to those two. Garber Jones did a good job of getting out of the way there, didn't he? Oh, these two will punish you all day long. Well, it was at the semi-final stage where Jonah Lomu tore England apart in 1995 with four tries. He's got two already in this one. Over goes the kick, and New Zealand have opened a gap. Galtier just composing himself back, it goes to Lamizol. Over it goes, and that's the full set for Lamizol in this match. Try, conversion, penalty, drop goal. Yeah, that's a better kick. Straight through the middle. Brings them back into it. Looks like a penalty to France is there if they don't get advantage. Back it goes to La Maison again. Over goes another drop goal. And France suddenly taking the game again to New Zealand. 24-16. If the All Blacks thought that that try was going to be the killer, they're mistaken. Yes, we've had seven days of drop goals, haven't we? Loads of them going over. And La Maison proving he can do it too. Galtier takes it on. Ibanez trying to get away, tackled by Kronfeldt. It's all France at the moment. And a penalty to France. But here goes La Maison. Well, he's got stacks of length. No problems at all. And France are now back to within one converted try. And Dort takes his hand off it, but offside against the All Blacks. Well, he's drilled it, through it goes. My goodness. Suddenly, a virtuoso kicking display from La Maison. Wilson decides to go himself. And the French have it. They're like terriers in those rucks at the moment. Dominici, he's going to go in. Dominici scores for France. They take the lead. Oh, can you believe it? Dominici can't. French crowd can't. They're loving it. It was a beautiful kick and a kind bounce. Galtier saw it, left foot, just chipped it over. Lovely bounce for Dominici, but he's now got pace to burn. Randall will get nowhere near him. And he zeroes in under the post, and the Twickenham crowd has gone mad. Lemison, over it goes. And now France have a five-point lead. Amazing stuff from the French. In from the side went Maxwell. He only stopped him for a moment, though. The main core of them all still driving on. They're only five metres short. Back it comes. Lamaison chips over and through it. Dort is there for the try. Richard Dort scores again for France. Well, sensational. <laughs> Dort, he can't believe it. And listen to this Twickenham crowd. They're loving it. It was great forward play. Wonderful vision from Lamaison. Oh, they're queuing up to score. Dort got it down. Good try. Over it goes again. Quickly away, Kelleher, Mertens, Gibson. Mertens getting it round, Umanga's dropped it. Hacked away by Mania. He and Bernard Sal are after it. Mania chases on. Wilson's got a hell of a lot to do. He hasn't done it. Bernard Sal. The try is given. Bernard Sal has surely won this game for France. Sensational. Look at this, All Blacks making mistakes. Simple drop. And now it's a foot race. Look at Bernard Sal, he's coming from nowhere. Randall's trying to get back, he isn't going to get there. Wilson ain't going to get there. He is, Bernard Sal. Did everything right, it was a great pickup. La Maison. 
Over it goes. Sensation. Marshall misses out. Wilson wriggles free. Over he goes under the post. But we're into injury time almost. Just six seconds left on the clock. He yeah, has a quick conversion, but it's too late. It's just a consolation. Jeff Wilson, he's not letting them down. Maxwell. Oh, he loses the ball forward. Knows he's got to get the passes away. The French desperate to get on it. The game is over. France have beaten the All Blacks. The biggest upset in the whole of Rugby World Cup history.